The class of 2016 was one of the greatest recruiting classes of all time. Names such as Miles Bridges, Malik Monk, Markel Fultz, De'Aaron Fox, Bam Adebayo, Lonzo Ball, and Jason Tatum. However, there was one player ranked above all of them, who was once described as the future of basketball. What's up guys and welcome back to Hoop City. Harry Giles was the number one overall player in the class of 2016. Harry Giles was the clear number one prospect in the 2017 draft prior to the college basketball season. He was slotted over names such as Jason Tatum, Markel Fultz, and Lonzo Ball. Which at the time, Markel Fultz and Lonzo Ball looked to be for sure things, so it meant a lot more. But after constant knee surgeries, he was never able to fully get back on the court. His trainer says, Harry has seen the highest of the high. Everyone has told him he's the best player in the world. He's also felt the lowest of the low. He's heard people tell him his career is done and he'll never be himself again. He's experienced all that by 20. He's always had the talent and now he's got the maturity too. Giles' first knee injury happened in the summer before his sophomore year. As a freshman, he paired with Theo Pinson at Wesleyan Christian Academy in North Carolina, which brought home the state championship that year. At this time, he was already getting highlighted by some of the top programs in the country, such as Duke and North Carolina. One coach said, one coach said, there are a few players I never saw live in high school. I never recruited LeBron James or Kevin Durant, but without question, the best high school player I've ever seen in person was Harry Giles. In 2013, while playing for U.S. Basketball's U16 team, Giles planted on a fast break and got pushed by an Argentinian opponent and felt the dreaded pop. He had torn his left ACL, MCL, and meniscus. He didn't play at all his sophomore year in high school. Instead, he spent his mornings waking up at 5 a.m. and working in the pool with his trainer. He spent his afternoons rebuilding the strength in his lower body. By his junior year, he was back on the court with a brace. And that summer, the brace went off. And so did Giles. A power forward with a pre-natural knack for rebounding, a point guard's ability to pass, and a remarkable explosiveness. This skyrocketed Giles back up to the number one player in the recruiting class. For his senior season, he transferred to the powerhouse known as Oak Hill Academy. But two minutes into his first game, it happened again. Another pop. He knew he had torn his ACL again, only this time it was in his other knee. The next week, he committed to Duke live on ESPN, but would not be able to play until his first game with the Blue Devils. But Giles did not play much at Duke. In a preseason practice while his teammates were playing 5-on-5, five five, Giles was working on agility drills on the sideline. He felt a flare-up of pain, and Duke's doctors determined later that day that he'd need an arthroscopic knee surgery to clean up his left knee. After missing the first 11 games, he became a regular in Duke's rotation, but never a dominant force. He averaged just 3.9 points and 3.8 rebounds in 11.5 minutes per game. After he was drafted by the Kings 20th overall, he appeared in the preseason as a normal, young, promising player. He averaged 13.3 points and 5.7 rebounds. He never really got on the court much during the season, as he averaged 3.7 points and 2.8 rebounds per outing. But he was getting stronger and closer to game speed with every outing. But this is just really a reminder. This dude is still very young in his NBA career, and it's going to be interesting to see what he can do. Could him and De'Aaron Fox become one of the next great duos in the league? Or will his injuries derail his career forever, similar to D. Rose? It'll be interesting to see. I hope this dude comes back full strength as he was one of the most exciting players to watch while he was in high school. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Now Tatum passes back to a cutting Giles. Are you kidding me? What a tremendous hustle.